All right, we're back with a continuation of the lesson. We're going into showing the power of the Heavenly Father, what he's doing. Sent forth Hurricane Sandy, messing up the East Coast, the Northeast. All right. The judgment of the Lord is going to come forth and destroy America, Babylon the Great. Got to turn back to the Lord before it's too late. Repent. As you see, Jake totally ignoring me, but it's all good. You're ignoring the most high. You ain't ignoring me. All right. But I do not my works, but him that sent me. Okay. We're here to proclaim the gospel. All right. Of the 12 tribes of Israel, the gospel of the Heavenly Father, shall I say, to the 12 tribes of Israel. We're here to talk about the end of the world, okay, which is coming. The end of the, the rulership of the so-called white man, the word world, meaning the end of the age. The end of the age, all right? Aeon, end of the age. Not the end of the, the earth, but the end of the world. The age of uh, the current rulership and system of things, okay? Matter of fact, we read a real quick scripture on that. Show you that the earth is always going to be here. That the thing that's, that's going to end is the current rulership. Most High is going to take the, the current ruler out of power and set up this righteous kingdom on the earth and put his son in charge. Okay? He's going to rule with a rod of iron, by the way. Make no mistake about it. Let's read that. Um, I want to say all praise to the Most High, Yahweh, Ba, Shem, Yahweh, Shai. Double on to the elders of GMS. No respect to all the brothers out there teaching the truth. And the ones of you that's waking up, get yourself together, get out in the highways ahead to teach this truth. The end is rapidly approaching. Alright? This is Ecclesiastes 1, verse 4. One generation passeth away, and another generation cometh. But the earth abideth forever. There you go. So the end of the world don't mean the end of the earth. We're talking about the end of the current system of things, the end of the age. It says one generation dies, another generation comes and takes its place, but the earth abides forever. The earth lives, abide means to live, or dwell, the earth lives forever. It's never going to be totally destroyed, okay? So people get all nervous when we talk about the nuclear destruction. You say that when Russia shoot their missiles, you're going to shoot your missiles and the whole earth going to explode. No. Portions of Russia are going to get destroyed, but America is going to be totally destroyed. One more time, Ecclesiastes 1 verse 4. One generation passes away, and another generation coming. But the earth abideth forever. That's right. The earth is going to always be here. One generation is going to come and die off, another generation will be born. But the earth is always going to be here. Okay? So like we said, this is the gospel of the kingdom of heaven. This gospel of the kingdom, as the Savior said, and it's to the, uh, the elect of the house of Israel. So-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you make up the 12 tribes of the house of Israel. The gospel is for you when you own it. Okay? That's it. You don't care if people got a problem with that. Hey, let the chips fall where they may. Babylon the Great will be destroyed, which is America. Okay? Babylon the Great will be destroyed. The end is near. The destruction of Babylon the Great. America. But you don't, they don't you try to tell an Edomite that, or most that's an Edomite woman. They mind in the cloud. They're somewhere else. They ain't got no idea what's going on. Too busy worrying about the new Galaxy iPhone to, worry, to be concerned with the end of the world, you know, which it ain't for them anyway. The gospel ain't for them anyway. Let them get destroyed. Let's go back into the lesson. The Most High is doing works throughout the earth, but this week he showed up big time by sending for Hurricane Sandy, you know, to bring tribulation on people, to punish those who are not listening, to punish the Israelites. Because you got, like I said, you got a lot of Jakes up there in the Northeast, and they getting punished just like them damn devils getting punished, man. Okay? Don't think for one minute. If the so-called white man suffer, you know Jake suffering. You ain't even they ain't even show no black neighborhoods on, on the news. So you know them neighborhoods is fucked up. They probably get no aid from FEMA. They probably get no help. Nope. So, you know, hey, but that's good though. Cause you niggas deserve that shit. You deserve worse. And it's coming. Alright? So now let's read Luke 21, verse 8. Let's read that. Luke 21 and 8. Just like now, I, I want to see something like that hit down here in the Carolinas. I mean, it hit North Carolina a little bit up in the mountains part. But I want to see that shit hit around here. Because these niggas around here, they will not listen, man. You know, the people don't give a shit about nothing. They just worrying about their little simple-ass daily life. Their damn food stamps and whatnot. All right, this is Luke 21. We're going to start at verse 8. 
All right, and this is part of the end time signs. Okay, part of the end time signs. This is Luke 21, verse 8. And uh, we're going to start at verse 7. The disciples asking the Savior a question. And they asked him, saying, Master, but when shall these things be? And what sign will, will be, will there be, when these things shall come to pass? And they're talking about the end of the world, all right? Because the Savior said, the time will come when one stone will not be upon another. And he was talking about, basically, he was going into the, to the, uh, the desolation of Jerusalem. You know, now we're going to get kicked out of our homeland, all right? But they want to know about the kingdom now. When is the end coming? All right, this is uh, Luke 21, verse 8. And he said, Take heed that ye be not deceived. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am the anointed. And the time draweth near, go ye not therefore after them. And he speaks basically like with uh, Matthew 21, or uh, Matthew 24, brother. When he's talking about false prophets coming to deceive many, shall be many false prophets. That's what he's going into right now. Okay? But when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified. For these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. And you're hearing of the commotions and wars and whatnot. World War III is right on, right at the helm of it. Okay? You got class wars and then all different kind of riots and uproars breaking out of the earth. You know, Greece, France, uh, Germany, Poland, over there in Spain and Ireland. You know, the elders always going to the acronym PIGS. Portland, Ireland, Italy, Greece, and Spain. Those those uh, economies are basically uh, going through austerity. Okay, so that's some of the commotion. You're gonna hear wars and rumors of wars and commotion, but the Savior said, "Be ye not terrified." All right, let's read it again. But when you shall hear of wars and commotion, be not terrified. These things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. All right, you want you know, and that's also too like we keep hearing about Iran, Syria. Pakistan, Lebanon, Libya, all these different places. Egypt, destabilizing economies and regions. That stuff going forth happening. Iran, Pakistan, Russia, India. All these nations being gathered for World War III. There ain't no denying that. America going to be, you know they're going to be involved. They're the, one of the main players. Uh, So-called, uh, these Israelis, these Jewish people, which are not real Jews, but fakes and converts, okay? Counterfeits, imposters. They're all going to be involved. World War III is going to happen, man. We're going to have also the nations in South America getting involved in that as well. Colombia, you know, uh, uh, what's the other, uh, Cuba, Colombia, you know, they're going to be involved in it. Um, There's one particular I'm thinking about, I can't say it. Uh, where Hugo Chavez is, Venezuela. Yeah, they're going to be involved, you know. All these places are going to be involved. You Edomite nations, Poland, Switzerland, Sweden, France, Germany, Russia, Great Britain, all you going to be involved. That's the wars and commotions. But the end is not by, or the, the rumors of wars and commotions. You're going to hear of those wars and commotions. But be not terrified, because the end is not by and by. The end is not yet. What else? Then said he unto them, nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. Right, you're hearing the rumors right now, but the time is going to come where it's going to actually break out into physical armed conflict. Okay? And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places and famines and pestilence. Right, the earthquakes are already gone forth and continuing. Famine brought forth by Hurricane Sandy and also the bad weather that's been going on throughout the year. Not just now, because we had the 11th month now. We had 12 months, but all year long has been things going forth. It's going to bring forth the famine in the future. You know, all the blasting and mildew and, and, and different disasters that went forth throughout the, uh, throughout the south. Okay, last year you had the, the oil spill down there in the, uh, 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 the great, uh, down there in the portion of the great, the, the big south, down there in uh, Louisiana and Texas and all that area. Then this year you had those hurricanes down there in the, in, the, uh, in the south, Arkansas, Alabama, Mississippi, you know, those country places down there like that. Those floods came. Now in the east coast, you got Hurricane Sandy messing up the resources there. Also early in the year you had um, hurricanes and tornadoes go through the Midwest. All that's going to bring about a famine because it's shortage, it's making... <laughs> the crops not grow the same. The great bread basket over there in the Midwest got hit early this year. All that's going to bring about famine, man, for a time to come. Okay? And what else? And pestilences. And those things are pestilences. You know? And also diseases. Little small outbreaks here and there. You had the flesh eating bacteria that you heard about. I did a lesson on that on one of my channels. Um, 
Other brothers have done, you know, you hear about the Chagas and these different little diseases. This Ebola virus, you know, spinal meningitis over there where it's Texas and different parts like that. Different little viruses that happen. Those are pestilences. Now Hurricane Sandy comes with a pestilence, which is that uh, Hurricane Sandy brought forth more pestilences. All these things happen, like the Most High said. Or like the Savior said. And fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven. You see? No fearful sights, those eclipses. Solar and lunar eclipses. Uh, uh, signs in the heavens that you keep hearing about. All over the earth. Chariot sightings, everything. It's all lining up. All the prophets are lining up, bringing forth the, the, uh, the signs are lining up to show you that the end is close. Okay?